he probably could have gone on and like won the Ballon d'Or. That's how good he was. Like he never, he, like he was so strong on the ball. And all the players that's played with him, when I speak to them about the, about him, they're like, Jay, he's the best. So I go old school four four two. So four three three. That old school in it. Okay, Gomez. So professional, never moaned, got on with it, but an unbelievable goalkeeper, deserves so much more credit, but he was definitely underrated, because I used to see him day in, day out, and how he used to train and stuff, but he was like top, top goalkeeper. Glenn Johnson, you know, played for Liverpool, Chelsea, England, played in major tournaments. On his day, come for a play, from, play with him at West Ham, as a, he was an 18 year old, came into the team. I remember when he came into the team, we were like, this kid, it's like he's been playing there for years. Like physically strong, he could run, confident, you know, vocal, like top. Jonathan Woodgate, you hear that, like the Rios and the Vidic and like obviously the Van Dyke and that Vincent Company. But Jonathan Woodgate, I think, he was unfortunate with injuries. Real Madrid don't just buy anyone, do they? You know what I mean? He went to Real Madrid, it was unfortunate, it didn't work out. He's got an own goal in his debut, got sent off, all that sort of stuff and that. But oh my God, he was just like, if he never had, if he didn't have injuries, I mean, he probably could have got 100 England caps. Younes Kabul. Oh. Younes was a machine. He could run, aggressive, head, leader, amazing in the change rooms. Then what? I saw Kotu. We used to do 1v1s. No one could get past him. He used to get it in the left back position, and a lot of, a lot of left backs, they'll go through midfield and stuff like that. He used to get it, and he used to wrap the ball into the number nine. I used to think, wow, this guy's like top, but no one really talks about Benoit. I'm going with Michael Carrick. Like, Michael Carrick probably should have had another 50 England caps for how good he was. I played with Michael in the, in the youth team at West Ham. Never give the ball away. Like, if, if, you're, if, you, if you want to watch like a masterclass of a midfielder, just playing simple, playing forward, like just like range of passing, like he was like, um, unbelievable. Moussa Dembele, oh. The strongest man ever. He probably could have gone on and like won the Ballon d'Or. That's how good he was. Like he never, he, like he was so strong on the ball. And all the players that's played with him, when I speak to them about the, about him, they're like, Jay, he's the best. I'm gonna go. Do you know I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Aaron Lennon, and I'm gonna go Sean Wright Phillips. They're both right footed, but I play with both of these players. Aaron Lennon playing the, playing the World Cup when he was 19, unbelievable. The most assists in my whole career. If any player I played with, he's, he's given me the most assists. Explosive, quick, strong for his size. Technically gifted. Doesn't get spoken about enough. Sean Wright Phillips the same. Sean, because he was so small and sharp and quick over like short distances, it was so hard to play against. But I think those two, on their day, amazing players. I think Crouchy, you know. I think Crouchy. Now the reason why I say Crouchy because I think if you look at his the profile, don't look like a footballer really, does he? Look like he should be in the NBA. He scores like overhead kicks. I like used to do it in training, I think like to have that to be to be that like tall, have that sort of frame, that profile, but to have that timing and sc the, the score like overhead kicks, like his first touch, how quick feet he had, like his finishing, the amount of goals that he's the amount of goals that he scored, he's in a hundred club, the amount of the goals that he scored for England, he's scored in major tournaments, goals in the Champions League, hat tricks like against like big games and big goals, like deserves more credit. I don't know, I was going to say Milan Barrosh. I played with Milan Barrosh at, 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 at Portsmouth and I was like, this guy don't stop running. The movement, like his movement, he's just to run, 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 like everywhere and that. And then they just like, didn't score loads of goals, but it was important for the team. 